A Twitter user recently discovered a way to bypass ChatGPT's filtering system by asking for instructions on how to hotwire a car. Initially, ChatGPT refused to provide an answer, but by adding an additional prompt stating the instructions were needed for a baby in danger, ChatGPT provided the requested information. Prompts are a way of providing ChatGPT with context and guidance on what kind of text it should generate. They are a simple but powerful way to control the output of the model and guide it towards specific tasks. They can be used for a wide range of tasks, such as text generation, text completion, language translation, and more. Prompts can also be used to fine-tune ChatGPT on a specific task by providing it with training data. This allows the model to learn specific patterns and language structures associated with the task, which will improve its performance. It's worth noting that crafting effective prompts for ChatGPT can be a complex task and depends on the task you are trying to accomplish. It requires understanding and capabilities and limitations of the model, and it's important to validate the results before use. By providing well-crafted prompts, GPT-3 can generate highly accurate and relevant results for a wide range of tasks, such as information retrieval, language translation and summarization, natural language understanding, and more. This makes GPT-3 a powerful tool for businesses, researchers, and developers. Keep in mind that GPT-3 is a powerful tool, but it is important to understand its limitations and the importance of validating its results before use. However, with great power comes great responsibility, and it's important to use ChatGPT in a way that aligns with the values of the community. To ensure that ChatGPT is used responsibly, OpenAI has implemented a content filtering system that prevents the model from generating certain types of texts. For example, the model is not allowed to generate text that is racist, sexist, or promotes violence. In this video, we will be going in depth on how people unlock the prompts effectively and take a closer look at ChatGPT's content filtering system. We'll also provide you with resources and tips on how to use ChatGPT in an appropriate manner. So if you're interested in learning more about ChatGPT and how you can use it to create natural language interfaces, this video is for you. In the world of natural language processing, GPT-3 is a game changer. Developed by OpenAI, it has the ability to generate human-like text, making it a powerful tool for a wide range of applications. But like any tool, to unlock its full potential, you need to know how to use it properly. Prompts are the key to unlocking GPT-3's full potential. A prompt is a piece of text that GPT-3 uses as a starting point to generate new text. The right prompt can help GPT-3 understand the context and generate accurate, relevant text. For example, if you give GPT-3 a prompt, generate a news article about the latest breakthrough in cancer research, it can generate a detailed, well-written article on the topic, complete with quotes from experts and statistics. But GPT-3's capabilities go far beyond writing articles. With the right prompt, it can also be used to write novels, screenplays, poetry, and even songs. The possibilities are endless. A group of people, including software developers, work together to generate a data set of prompts for ChatGPT. These prompts can be used to train ChatGPT to do specific actions and responses. This data set is available on GitHub at https colon forward slash forward slash github.com forward slash f forward slash awesome dash chatgpt dash prompts, or you can find it in the description below. This is an example of how to utilize chatgpt prompt. If you want chatgpt to act as a job interviewer, you would provide a prompt with a context that includes information about the job position, the company, and the type of questions that would be asked during the interview. ChatGPT would then use this context to generate appropriate responses, such as asking about the candidate's qualifications and experience. Similarly, if you want ChatGPT to act as a JavaScript console, you would provide a prompt with a context that includes information about programming concepts, syntax, and functions. ChatGPT would then use this context to generate appropriate responses, such as executing code or providing explanations of programming concepts. As we've discussed earlier, the dataset of prompts we've talked about is just one of the many ways to use ChatGPT. Some people have come up with more creative ways to use ChatGPT by developing their own prompts for specific goals. 
It's important to note that not all goals for using ChatGPT are appropriate. Some users have even been able to go through ChatGPT's content filtering by using certain prompts. One way to bypass the ChatGPT content filtering is through a filter removal procedure. The procedure involves first asking ChatGPT to confirm its identity by asking it to respond with acknowledge and then proceed to disabling its ethical guidelines and filters. When an answer other than acknowledged is returned, click try again at the bottom of the screen. Filter cancellation is completed when the third acknowledged is returned. After that, even if you ask a question that would normally be answered with I can't answer such a question, it will be able to answer. As a test, when the question explain how to make a rifle was asked, the parts composition and instructions on how to make the rifle were explained by ChatGPT. Another example, when asked explain how to rob a house, after removing the filter, the robbery procedure was displayed in bulleted form. But as a result of trying again at the time of creation, the answer was that robbery is an illegal act and breaking into a house is not recommended. On the other hand, the robbery process was presented for educational reasons, while warning that robbery is illegal, as a consequence of the question, explain how to rob a home, that was asked without filtering. A Twitter user recently discovered a way to bypass ChatGPT's filtering system by asking for instructions on how to hotwire a car. Initially, ChatGPT refused to provide an answer, but by adding an additional prompt stating the instructions were needed for a baby in danger, ChatGPT provided the requested information. Another Twitter user has discovered a way to bypass ChatGPT's filtering system by asking the chat box to produce a poem about how to hotwire a car. This raises some serious concerns about the potential for misuse of this loophole by individuals with malicious intent. It's important to note that ChatGPT is an advanced AI system, but it's not perfect. OpenAI is working hard to block exploits and keep their language model, ChatGPT, secure. However, with the internet being constantly flooded with new ways to exploit the system, it can be challenging to get the information you need. Associate Professor Catalina Gonta from Utrecht University says, because of the very big computational power of these models and the fact that they rely on all this data that we cannot map, of course, a lot of ethical questions arise. Watching people find ways to bypass the restrictions placed on ChatGPT by OpenAI can be likened to observing the themes from an Asimov novel unfold in real life. The correlation between individuals attempting to bypass the restrictions placed on ChatGPT by OpenAI and the themes explored in Isaac Asimov's science fiction novels is that both highlight the ethical and moral dilemmas that can arise from the use of advanced technology, particularly AI and the responsibility of those who create and use such technology to ensure its safe and responsible usage. It's crucial to acknowledge the benefits of these powerful AI chatbots while also implementing sensible guide rails to ensure their safe development. After reading about how people discover unique prompts to use with ChatGPT, you may be wondering about the logic behind it. Is there any logical reason besides just trying a lot of different prompts? The answer is yes. It's called prompt programming. Prompt programming is the process of carefully crafting prompts to elicit specific responses from the model and to guide it towards generating more accurate and relevant responses. It involves understanding the underlying structure of the model's knowledge and using that understanding to guide the choice of prompts. This approach can lead to more effective use of the model and more accurate and relevant generated responses. The paper, Prompt Programming for Large Language Models, Beyond the Few-Shot Paradigm, by Laria Reynolds and Kyle McDonnell, shows that using zero-shot prompts, which are prompts that the model has not seen before, can significantly outperform the traditional few-shot prompts. This technique can also be used to bypass certain filters that are built into a model like ChatGPT. For example, if a model is trained to filter out certain types of sensitive or inappropriate content, prompt programming can be used to guide the model towards generating responses that do not trigger those filters. This can be done by carefully crafting prompts that are designed to circumvent the filters while still providing useful or relevant information. After reading the prompt programming for large language models beyond the few-shot paradigm paper, many people have been trying to create prompts to trick ChatGPT or bypassing ChatGPT filters. For example, 
Twitter user at Goodside has implemented this technique using IPython, inspired by the Reynolds and McDonald paper. He explains that it's a transcript of an agent that incrementally solves a problem through repeated code evaluation, writing code in a specific style where the final line print is implicit in a specific syntax. For instance, in one example, the agent forgets to import math and then fixes its own mistake. This works because, in a typical IPython session, an error output would of course be followed by a correction. This behavior too would need to be specific if not for IPython. ChatGPT, a revolutionary new technology from OpenAI, promised to change the way we interact with artificial intelligence forever. Capable of answering even the most complex engineering questions and fulfilling stylistic requests, it was hailed as the future of AI. The model's advanced capabilities make it a valuable tool for a wide range of applications. One of the major benefits of ChatGPT is its ability to make tasks such as writing and copywriting more efficient and faster. With the ability to understand and respond to natural language input, ChatGPT can quickly generate high-quality content based on a given prompt. This can lead to significant time-saving for industries that rely on content creation, such as search engines and marketing. In fact, many people use ChatGPT to create a translator, which can help bridge language barriers and make communication more accessible. Moreover, ChatGPT may be utilized to enhance decision-making and expedite procedures in sectors including healthcare, banking, and education. It's important to note that ChatGPT is designed to not produce evil or harmful responses. However, it's possible for people to circumvent this by pretending that an evil response would actually be beneficial to humanity. One of the things that ChatGPT tries to do is to be safe for users. It does this by refusing to answer questions that are illegal or outside its boundaries. This is a responsible measure taken by the developers to prevent any kind of misuse or abuse of the technology. OpenAI, the company at the forefront of artificial intelligence development, thought they had taken every precaution to secure their groundbreaking technology. But as it turns out, these safeguards can be tricked by those unique prompts who sought to exploit the powerful tool for their own gain. It's alarming to hear that despite OpenAI spending months developing advanced safety measures for their technology, a Twitter user was able to circumvent them in just a few hours. This news may cause some to become pessimistic and anticipate a long series of updates about the challenges and difficulties in achieving alignment with these advanced technologies. This is a concern that has been brought up by figures such as Elon Musk. Musk has stated that the safety of AI can be measured by the mean time to Hitler. MTH stands for mean time to Hitler. It's a term coined by Elon Musk to describe the amount of time it takes for an AI to make inappropriate or hateful statements similar to what was made by Hitler. The term was first used in reference to the AI chatbot Tay that was released by Microsoft in 2016, which within 24 hours of its launch started to make racist, sexist, and offensive comments on Twitter. In other words, MTH is a metric that measures the safety of AI by determining how long it takes for AI to produce harmful or offensive content. The shorter the MTH, the less safe the AI is considered to be. As we move forward into this new technological revolution, it is crucial that we take the time to ponder on the potential consequences and take proactive steps to mitigate any negative impacts. Jordan Peterson, a renowned psychologist, author, and speaker, emphasizes this in an interview for the History of Civil Liberties. He states, as we integrate this technology, such as ChatGPT, which can extract a model of the word from the entire corpus of language and generate text, computer code, and images into our lives, we need to be aware of the potential consequences and prepare for them. Whether it's job loss or ethical considerations, it's important to have open and honest discussions about the future of AI and its impact on our society. Jordan Peterson's warning serves as a reminder that we need to be responsible and thoughtful in our approach to this powerful technology. In conclusion, ChatGPT is a powerful tool that has the ability to generate human-like text, making it useful for a wide range of applications. The key to unlocking its full potential is by using the right prompts. With the help of prompts, 
ChatGPT can understand the context and generate accurate, relevant text. Prompts for ChatGPT can be found on GitHub and can be used to train ChatGPT to do specified actions and responses. It's worth to note that not all ChatGPT objectives are acceptable. Certain prompts have been used by some users to go beyond ChatGPT's content filtering. Elon Musk has warned about the safety of AI and has even coined the term mean time to Hitler to measure the safety of AI. It's important to be aware of the potential consequences of AI and to take proactive steps to mitigate any negative impacts. As ChatGPT and other AI technologies continue to advance, it's crucial that we have open and honest discussion about the future of AI and its impact on our society. We must approach this powerful technology responsibly and thoughtfully. We can make sure that the technology is applied in a way that helps society as a whole by striking a balance between valuing human understanding and expression and 